It is a great honor for me to be able to be up here in front of you today. And like I say, we have a very important day for the city of Fort Wayne to be able to introduce to you the next mayor of Fort Wayne, no doubt in my mind, Paula Hughes. so much for coming out today. I, I can't even tell you what it means to me and how humbled I am by all the people that are here, by you know my family, first of all. I don't know how many of you got a chance to meet my son, Beal, but he'll be mayor in 30 years. I mean, yeah. <laughs> okay. Beal, my husband, Chris, my mother-in-law and father-in-law, Bob and Betty Hughes, my dad, Chris Callum, who drew over from Kokomo, and my sister, who's trying to hide, <laughs> who lives here in Fort Wayne. I also want to thank, I have a lot of fellow elected officials. I'm not going to start into the list, but I do want to mention that there are a couple of guys here, Cal Miller and Darren Vogt, who were with me eight years ago when we first ran. I know I saw Darren. I don't know where they are in the crowd now. Uh, they were with me when I kind of started on this political journey. Uh, I had no idea it would wind up here. I'm excited that it has. Uh, I also want to recognize all the friends. There are, I am, I am stunned. There are people here that I went to high school with. There are people here that I worked with when I ran the Decatur Chamber of Commerce 15 years ago. There are people from my times in the Downtown Improvement District, from my time on County Council. It's just, it's such a journey and it's exciting to me that everybody's coming along with me on it. So they, I am humbled, I really am. Thank you very much for being here. Um, this for me, you know, running for mayor is something that kind of came upon me slowly. And for me, this isn't about just a campaign. It's not running for mayor. It's that I think that we need to have a transformation in the city of Fort Wayne. This is about transforming our community and moving us into the future. I have to say that I believe in Fort Wayne. Something that I hold near and dear to my, for my heart is this faith that Fort Wayne is such a great community. We are not a second-class city. We may be the second largest city in Indiana, but sometimes we might think of ourselves as second class, and I don't believe that for a second. And I refuse to accept that kind of defeatist attitude from anybody else. And I think the crowd here is here because they believe that too. And I want everybody to come along with me as we prove that transformation. I chose this location to announce my campaign for a couple of reasons. One, I want to exhibit that business is one, of, taking care of business is one of the most important things we can do. Uh, I've been a part of the family business. Uh, we have made decisions. I know how to meet payroll week in and week out. Uh, I know what it takes to keep a business healthy. And I know that when government gets out of the way and creates an environment, that's when companies succeed. And that's what's going to produce jobs for everybody in this community. And that's one of the most important things we can do. Jobs are the foundation of the economy. We all know that. And it's time the government got out of the way and let those businesses succeed. That's what it's going to help create this new Fort Wayne. Uh, a second thing. <laughs> you know, the second reason I, we chose this location was because we're in, we're in New Haven right now. And it might seem a bit unusual for somebody who's running for mayor of Fort Wayne to announce from New Haven. But we have a Fort Wayne address, there is that. But there's also, there, TFP has a location in Fort Wayne in Waynedale and Lower Huntington Road. And I wanted to make the point very strongly that I believe that Fort Wayne will only be as successful as its neighbors are. What's good for Fort Wayne is good for New Haven. What's good for New Haven is good for Fort Wayne. Uh, I want to recognize, I saw Mary, Ma, Mayor Terry McDonald was here. And thank you so much, Terry, for, for being here today because I know you share that philosophy. And we will succeed if we build strong relationships with our fellow neighboring government entities. Building connections with, from government to government is another really important thing that we need to do. And it just makes sense. We know that if we work together, we'll be that much more successful in overcoming any obstacles that come our way. And we can rise up to meet any challenges or any opportunities that come before us. And it's a really simple thing. You think about it, your, your daily life, 
If you know that neighbor next door, then if something happens to your fence, you work together to fix it. Or if you need a cup of sugar, you can borrow it and know that they'll return the favor. Uh, it, we just all work better when we work together. I believe that we should get the basics right. And that's kind of the, the, the bottom line thing. Cities are about you know keeping the potholes patched, getting the snow plowed, removing the leaves and branches, having financial integrity in the way we approach our budget, and we have to do all those things. And I've shown particularly with my work on county council that I believe very strongly in the importance of having financial integrity and being a fiscal conservative as you approach those municipal budgets. But we can't stop there. We have to keep going. We have to expect more of our administration. It's the only way we're going to succeed. No more status quo, no more kind of looking to the side when you say you're from Fort Wayne. You need to hold your head high. You're from Fort Wayne, Indiana. <laughs> I want to tell you that I have big plans for Fort Wayne, and you're going to hear a lot more about them in the coming year. We've got 14 months. I've had that said to me a couple of times, and it sounds both like a really long period of time and a really short period of time to me right now. In the next 14 months, you're going to hear more about those big plans. Uh, hopefully, you're all signed up to get the email on the listserv for the email, or you've checked out the website. We do all the Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn stuff too. YouTube, but don't forget YouTube. Uh, if you haven't already, sign up for that uh, and follow us because I believe strongly that. Uh, I didn't get here by myself. I can't do any of this alone. And I need everybody to come along with me. We're just starting. We're, we're coming to the starting point. This is the kickoff of the campaign. And we're going to run it, and we're going to run it hard. But when I'm elected, that too will be another starting line. And I'm going to need everybody to keep running with me as we transform the community. So thank you very much for joining us today. I think we've got a lunch planned for after this. If you can stick around for lunch, thank you very much. Uh, and wow, thank you. <laughs>